saw you kind of overcome with emotion, crumple to your knees when uh, the final whistle blows. Yeah. What's going through your mind? A lot of hard work paid off since August. Um, the dedication from, from this group of men, many of whom, I keep saying it, many of whom never played rugby before, and yet here we are national champions. You know, on a personal level, thinking about my dad, and uh, we kind of needed his help a little bit from, from up above to, to get us over there at the end. And, and that, that was a, a little personal thing that helped a lot. But, you know, Ernie Blake, Sharon Blake, um, uh, John Prusmack, um, Paddy Prusmack, um, uh, Marianne Fulford, uh, Carlton Fulford, uh, Sam and Jane Marone, you know, those people drove Navy Ford for years, for years, and here we are, as well as every class that, that has come before us. They've just, you know, it's, it's such a massive relief for, for all of them, it really is. And then to have James Willicks come down from Dartmouth, He's added another level to Navy Rugby that we needed to get over that hurdle, and that's very evident. Dallas Elliston, um, part of the coaching staff, Lieutenant Elliston, it's just, it, it feels like, um, you know, we got there. <laughs> kind of mirrored the uh, matchup in March. The first half was very gritty. Yeah. And then you guys come roaring back. What was the key to that? Well, we were a little bit unhappy with our performance in the first half. Um, you know, we didn't fire a shot for 30 minutes. And then the final 10 minutes, we, we showed something and we got 14 points on the board to go in uh, only a point down at half time. So we saw that it was there. We just needed to do a lot more of it. And, you know, come the second half, you got 40 minutes for these guys who, <coughs> excuse me, our first team won't play rugby again. And they either do or they don't. And being the men they are, they did. And here we are. I go back to Chet's press conference when this became a varsity sport. He says that rugby is the warrior sport. Yeah. These are the, the qualities that midshipmen should have. How did these midshipmen display their nature in this game? It's not just this game, Luke. I mean, we'll, we'll talk about this game, but it's, it's 18 games in a row. You know, we had no right to be 18 and 0. We have no right to beat Cal um, with guys who never played rugby before. But their grit, their resilience, their determination, their desire to be the best versions of the, themselves they can be, take all these lessons they've learned to go into the fleet to be the best leaders they can be, uh, it is a warrior sport. And, and it's a very honest sport. And you're going to get what you sow in this game, reap what you sow. Um, and conversely, if you don't do the work, you're going to get found out. And we've done the work. We've done the work from day one. These men have been outstanding. I can't speak highly enough of this team and the first leadership. Um, you know, they deserve every accolade that they're getting and they're going to get uh, the, first, um, the first national championship team from Navy in, in um, 60 year history, our first year as varsity, and it feels good. What about Landon's try? What did you see on that one? Uh, well, I was over the far side. I saw Landon showing a burst of speed that he doesn't normally show. Um, I'm only joking because he's standing over there. Landon has been, I said to me before the game that you're the orchestra, you're the or orchestra, what did I say? You're the conductor. Uh, you're the conductor, you know, and if the team goes well, uh, we need Landon to go well. And that, that, that adds pressure. Uh, but with the 10 number, the number 10 on his back, um, he's got to be firing. He's got to do simple things really, really well. And he's been doing it unbelievably well all season. And you know, Landon has grown massively himself this season. Uh, had a couple of setbacks during the season, which has helped him become the man and the leader and the player that he is. And, um, you know, he's our, he's our conductor on the team. He's pulling all the strings, you know, and... He got, he got the try that, that won us this game. It's, it's befitting. It's very befitting. Feels awesome. What else am I missing? Uh, for everybody who came here, you know, to, to wait on the bus for 10 minutes and to see everybody there, not just parents, but alums, family, friends, everybody there. This atmosphere that we just experienced after this game here on this pitch, now, I played professional rugby for, for 10 years. I've had massive highs. I've never experienced anything like this. The Naval Academy, Navy Rugby, is the most unique, special family there is. And again, if you do the hard work, you're going to get the rewards. And these men have just proved that. Break down that play, what you see when you score? Yeah, so we'd been uh, trusting our big boys up front to try to create space for us, us small guys, fast ones, to, to work it wide. We'd been going back and forth in the middle a little bit. And I started to see that Cal liked to overfold in the direction we typically go. So we did one shot to the left, one pot of the big guys, uh, immediately swung it back right, had uh, good hands from Ryan, gave it to Jack, gave it to me. I had JD on my outside. I knew I could trust him. Uh, Max Schumacher, great player, uh, was cutting across, just cut back in. They gave, they gave it to me. When the clock ticked down, you sealed this 28-22 win. How did you celebrate? 
Uh, I just I passed out on the ground. I I couldn't believe it. Uh, the last two minutes, um, our firsties, our our forwards were just put in work, one by one, pick and go, pick and go. Um, there was nothing we could do but trust them. Uh, they want us the game, a full team effort. I can't believe it still. Coach was just talking about how special this community is. To see the support you had and to finish such a great, great season, just what are you feeling right now? Yeah, uh, coach told us to not get too sucked into the event, and I tried really hard, but people are lining it as we come out of the bus. They're cheering for us at every moment of the game. It was incredible, the crowd we had out here today. Um, when we got down, they picked us right back up. They, I, I can't. I, there's no words for the amount of people that, that sh took time out of their weekends to come out here and support us, and uh, we, they, they helped us get the job done. You're a junior. You got a bright career ahead of you. I mean, where does this stack up for you in terms of just moments? <laughs> That's got it has to top of the list. Um, it's it's been incredible. The entire season has been a season of firsts. Uh, it was how good could we be. We never really thought about how far we'd get. Uh, but now we're here, we can relish in it a little bit before we, we flip it back around over the summer to try to do it again. That's exactly what Coach was alluding to. I mean, this is just the start, a, a new chapter, a new story. I mean, just where is this program headed now that you've gotten as far as you can go? Yeah. Um, all the credit to the firsties we had this year. Us, us juniors, second class, will try to up the mantle, carry the mantle next year, but got a, a lot of good recruits coming in. We'll get better with Coach Chicken and Coach Willis. Another year working with them together. I'm excited to see where we go. What else am I missing? Oh, just thank you to everyone who came out. Go Navy, beat Army.